Hey, it's Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and I'm here to bring you your November 2023 housing market update. As always, for the purposes of these videos, we're gonna be talking about single family homes only in Boca, Parkland, and Coral Springs, and we're not talking about condos or townhouses, no 55 and over, and no country clubs. We wanna give you the leading indicator showing you what's happening in the real estate market right now so you know where the market is headed, not where it's been. So let's get into it. The first stat we like to look at is the number of new listings hitting the market or supply. Everything in real estate is about supply and demand. So supply, the number of new listings in Boca is up 13% compared to this time last year, while Parkland is down 14% and Coral Springs is down 15%. We've typically been hearing that there's a lack of supply and that's what's leading to you know, the seller's market. That's what's been happening for the last couple of years. Supply is continuing to go down in Parkland and Coral Springs, but actually up in Boca. So it really does depend on where you're looking. At the same time, demand, which we were gonna define as the pending sales, the homes that are coming off the market and going under contract, that's up on average 3% compared to this time last year. So supply in Parkland and Coral Springs down 14, 15%. Demand is actually up. That's continuing the supply and demand imbalance and leading to prices continuing to go up across these cities. Now, the next stat we like to look at is the number of days on market. That's down 34% and we're currently at 20 days to sell. The next stat we like to look at is the close price to original list price. So that's 95.5%. That's up 0.9% from this time last year. So buyers are getting uh, roughly 5% off of the purchase price. Now we use the original list price to factor in price reductions because we are starting to see more price reductions, but you can consider a 95% give or take sales price to list price. The next stat we like to look at, which is arguably the most important, is the number of months supply of inventory. So they say that in a balanced market, five to six months is the amount of inventory that we should have. Currently, we're sitting at 3.05 months on average across the three cities. So that's still very much a seller's market, but Boca is the highest at 3.89 months. Parkland is at 0.27 months. So very much a seller's market still in Parkland. Coral Springs, 2.18 months of inventory. Again, very much a seller's market in Coral Springs as well. During the height of the pandemic, when the market was the craziest and we saw all those ridiculous bidding wars, we were at less than one month in all the cities. So you know, we're a little bit higher, we have more inventory now, but it is still a seller's market. So what does this mean for you? Buyers, it is still a seller's market, unfortunately, but the good news is that sellers are negotiating more off their list price. You're not having to pay you know, above appraised value, 20, 30, $40,000 above the list price just to get a house. Those days are gone. What we're recommending to our buyers is that you can try to negotiate and you get that 5% average discount that the market has right now. If you can get that as a credit from the seller instead of reducing the price, get it as a credit from the seller to buy down your interest rate. You can go from you know, the sevens, you can come down to the fours. You can get a really significant drop in your mortgage payment by doing it this way versus just reducing the price. And you might save one, 200 bucks a month. If you do it the way that we're encouraging you to do, you're saving you know, hundreds, if not you know, over a thousand dollars a month, depending on the deal and the purchase price. It's a really big difference. And then you can refinance if and when the rates do drop, which we're not predicting until probably 2025 for them to come down significantly, but you can take all that money and you get whatever of that prepaid interest that uh, you're getting that credit, that comes back to you as the buyer and you got the benefit of a significantly reduced payment for the whole time that, that you didn't refinance. This is really the right way to do it. So if you have questions on that model, give me a call. I'd be happy to explain that further in detail on how we can help you save tons of money on your mortgage payment. Sellers, what does this mean for you? Well, right now the market feels a lot slower than what you know we got used to over the last couple of years, but prices have appreciated year over year. So your home is worth more now than it was this time last year, but buyers are really, really sensitive to pricing. You have to be pinpoint accurate with your price. You can't just you know pick whatever you want and hope that someone's willing to get it. If homes are overpriced even by a little bit, we're seeing them sit on the market for a very, very long time and sellers are forced to do price reductions. So that optimistic pricing of 2021 really no longer works. You have to clearly be the best value in the neighborhood to sell. But if you do price the home accurately, and hypothetically, if you listed it with us and we gave you all the marketing that we do for all of our sellers, which is the best you're gonna get, the home will still sell 
you'll still get top dollar and we're still seeing multiple offers on almost all of our listings. So we, we'd love the opportunity to show you how we could help you sell if that's something you're still considering in 2023 or 2024. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next month.